We're going shopping today. So, baby, and welcome back to Wamina's channel. I'm Elisa Freja, founder of Wamina, and this week we're going shopping. Get in, loser. We're going shopping. We are going shopping to Ibiza's weirdest, quirkiest, most out of the box places, and we're lucky enough to do that with my quirky, out of the box, beautiful mama. So that's gonna be a fun adventure. You guys get to come along with me and my mom to do some shopping and maybe get some insights into how the hell my mom raised me to be so comfortable leaning into my quirk them, my quirks, my quirkiness. So come along to find some weird stuff with some weird gals and we can all just fall into mutual weirdness together and call it love in this week's episode of Sabahu. Sabahu. <laughs> It is a perfect day to go find cool shit. <laughs> so my mom and I are heading over to two different spots. The first spot that we went to go check out was called Las Dalias and it's one of Ibiza's hippie markets. Ibiza has been growing these little pop-up hippie markets for decades. And Las Dalias is one of the originals and it's one of the biggest and most famous. It only happens a couple days of the week and closes early. So we had to get there on time. We want some Ibiza music though. Soleil, California. I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, this jacket is really cute. <laughs> That's party. Now, the thing about Las Dalias is that it's all like handmade, little artisanal um, items or things that are shipped from the East or from the West or from other individuals that are making these by locals who want to bring them in and around town. really doesn't end though, Judy. It just keeps going. Crystals, 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 more crystals. White dresses, more white dresses. Hello. W Toys Ibiza. Yes. You make all this stuff? Look how cute. Look at the grasshopper. Oh, I love it. <laughs> That's so cute. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. What is it? That's a fun dress. Uh -huh. It is a fun dress. Uh, yeah. I was looking at this designer online, Isabel Moore. Very cool. Hello. These are so beautiful. 
the hippie market is super dope. And there was too much to see, to be honest. So how was that for you, Jude? Nice. So what do you think? I thought it was beautiful. best kept secret that I want to tell you guys about is a place called Sluiz. Sluiz Ibiza is a small shop that was originally started by just two other quirky people who wanted to buy and sell things that really meant a lot to them. Tiny little things that they would find that they felt inspired by that they liked to look at. And slowly but surely, this little place grew and grew and grew. Indoor areas, outdoor areas, filled with a restaurant and a performance area and, and a cafe. And you go in, there's clothing, there's homeware, there's what? It is a magical wonderland of randomness with seemingly no direction in sight. And it was pretty weird. I'll let you guys just take a look. Where am I? Siamese Twin. Wow. Cool. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what? It's like Alice in Wonderland here. Come, come, come. <laughs> it goes further and further and further. What is all this? Oh, cool. That's uh, an interesting experience. Yes. These candles. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, you came? Yeah. See? Inspiration. Wow. Wait, come here. Pose. Get it. Get it. Work it. Yes. <laughs> Stunning. <laughs> What is this place? Look at this. <gasps> oh. Wow. Very cool. I like the abundance. I like the randomness of it all. I like that it's literally bursting from every corner that your eye is looking at it's like boom beautiful boom baby head boom pink plant boom wooden bowl boom television so much stuff <laughs> on one side i think stuff is the devil on the other side i think this stuff is pretty freaking cool and i just want more i want more and more and more just to look at it just to be around it just to let my mind wander when i'm around that stuff man you definitely know when you're in your 30s when you get hyper excited about ceramic <laughs> that's a good looking plate <laughs> hear no evil see no evil speak no evil where's the do no evil <laughs> I don't know if you guys are a fan of the brand anthropology this is like anthropology on crack <laughs> this is Heaven. I feel like if I ever disappear, you will find me frolicking amongst these aisles because I could be here forever. Elisa in Wonderland. <laughs> Elisa in her Wonderland. Oh my God, look even how cool, how cool. 
How cool is this bowl? Look at it with the little candle. <sighs> love it. Can someone love a bowl? I think I do. Just chic. Okay. It's a jamón. Guess what? Yeah. What, 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 what? There's a restaurant here uh -huh. and it has entertainment at night. <laughs> like what? Like what kind of entertainment? Acrobatic circus. Oh, very cool. Oh my God. You look like you own the place, honestly, wearing what you're wearing right now. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? Cela V. Ah, oh, there you go. Ellie! Crazy. Crazy. These are towels. <laughs> it says don't. <laughs> my leather again. Oh my god, mom! Oh, well, that's it for our little shopping adventure, and that's literally what it's like shopping with my mom and I. It's a toss up. We might leave with way too many bags and empty pockets, or we might leave with maybe one little item or just chock full of video memories that are there forever. If you guys have heard about any other little trinket stores and little obscure, unexpected, quirky places to shop in Ibiza or anywhere else that you think is just like mind blowing, these types of spots like i i want to live there these are places where i want to go and bury myself in a mound of random artifacts and live out my life as an old weird antique attic fairy <laughs> i don't know i just i love it but tell me of looking through all that stuff what was your favorite thing that you saw i mean there is a lot of sick stuff for example this fit this is Ibiza. This is an Ibiza fit, guys. And honestly, I'm obsessed. Other than that, I think my favorite thing that I found was those little like awkward faces <laughs> of those kids. I don't know why they're there, but I want one. I'm going to make a bunch around my house now. <laughs> Just random kids I could talk to. That sounds weird. I think it's time to end the episode now. Smash that like button, that follow button, that subscribe button like you smash the patriarchy and do it to both me and Wamina because you know that's how change really happens, right? It's got to spread across everything, all the people, all the stuff. Anyway, love you guys. And I do, I do. I really have so much love for whoever's actually watching this. You guys are so nice. Okay, time to end the video there, I guess. I'll see you next week. Bye.